Hey, what's up, Yoon fam? It is I, Mark Yoon. And today, I'm bringing another hopefully exciting video. So what I got for you today is a little hodgepodge of a video. We're going to do a, uh, instead of making a two-parter, I'm going to go over the recently released patch notes for 2.30. These aren't the full patch notes. This is the overview. I will be posting the full patch notes later on as soon as they become available and translated in English. But after that, we are going to follow up with Huang Sung Young's new lore. Um, so we got some information on his uh, past, his prologue up to the story from thus far, and uh, the weapons he uses and things of that nature. Uh, a short bio. So we're going to get to all of that, and I will be making a separate also uh, Huang Sung Young new lore, or new timeline lore, uh, when that is finally made available. Uh, but for now, this is going to suffice to be an introduction to both of those things, and for people who have never used the character before, maybe they can have some reason to jump into them. But with that being said, let's just begin. Firstly, I want to say thank you guys for 900 subscribers. We have 100 more to go so that we can start live streaming. Let's get to that goal. So regarding the following items, we have delivered an update data 2.30 for PS4 version, Xbox One version, and Steam version with improvements on the specification chamber changes on December 1st. Please note that after the update, the replay data of old version cannot be played due to the correction of the battle specifications. Now we have the updates that are going to be on November 30th. This is the patch that supports the 13th paid DLC. So the 13th paid DLC playable character, quote unquote, fan will be supported. The delivery of data fan will be December 2nd, and for more information, please click here. Fans are included in Season Pass 2, and will be careful when purchasing. Um, so a lot of this stuff might be mistranslated, because this is from directly from the Japanese version, so we'll try and uh, correct it where we can. Uh, the cor this corresponds to paid DLC 14 bullets creation parts set F. The delivery day of creation set F will be December 2nd. The creation parts set F included in Season Pass 2. Please be careful when purchasing. So obvious stuff is obvious. Now we have the following parts will be added so that anyone can use them. We have uh, Sung Mina's classic stuff. And it looks like all of that is only for women except for her... Her Pawnee hair ornament, which is for men and women, and her Pawnee earrings, which is a little bit strange. That's the only thing that is uh, for both sexes, even after they told us they were going to start, like, making things more available for both genders, but whatever. That's them. And then here are the additional creation parts for the defects. So it says, we apologize for uh, the rank point rewinding problem in the Steam version, and we will add the following equipment parts so that anybody can use it. Except for the short habit hair, the parts were limited to gender, uh, will be shared by both men and women. Okay, so this actually says, I've seen a lot of people saying that um, they were upset that this is going to be just uh, for one gender, but it looks like they are still just making pretty much everything available for women and only two things here available for men, which are the Oracle Bakage's uh, Men Yaori, which is uh, Taki's face mask the wind reading earrings, and that is about it. So it looks like all of these things that are on the screen now are made available for the female cast as well, um, including like the Mask of Destruction, um, the the mirror that, that Keelik uses, all of that stuff. So sure, why not? I guess it's extra stuff is extra. There's nothing much we can actually do about that. Added stage. The following stages will be added so that anybody can use them. The Ruins of Matamine. In addition to the existing battle stages whose time zone changes will be added, the four arrangement stages with a fixed time zone. Temple of Eurydice, Evening, Kensei Cave, Evening, Sanctuary of Silver Wolves, Daytime, Marakumo Shrine, Precincts, Night. When Kitaku's Soul Charge is activated, the middle finger parts will not be destroyed by a specific input. Add an icon to the battle system display where Talon indicate whether or not Wind Matoi has been activated. In addition, some behavior corrections and balance adjustments will be made during the battle. A side story of Miles Edgeworth and Nightmare will be added to the story. It will be released after clearing a specific episode. When selecting the matchmaking condition 
of ranked match, a setting of five antennas will be added to communication status of the other party. In ranked match and casual match, when selecting a menu during the series of battles, the cancel button will be used to return. In casual match, we will change the type of sound that you can easily notice in the sound of entering the room. In creation, the slider that adjusts the position of the stickers will be changed to display a number, which is awesome. In training, we will add items related to physical fitness settings. You can check the skill table of opponent character in training. In training mode, an icon will be added to the menu of the skill table. In training, the playback start timing on the registered key record will be changed to earlier. In training, if match is played from the st uh, standby setting, when returning to training, the data will previous character stage will be taken over and returned. In training and replay, even if you can open the pause menu, command input history display will not disappear. In replay, if the game is decided in the round being played, the display of to the next round will be erased. This changes to prevent it from being known in advance whether or not a match will be settled. Some text will be re revised. In addition, the stability of some operations will be improved. And now I'm just going to show you guys this um, set to prevent stimulus equipment. This is all stuff for uh, clipping and what have you, so you can take a minute to look at that. And now we also have the creation parts that are going to be coming with Huang Sung Gyeong. So you have all of these here. Again, their translations are not out yet, so you could just see what the pieces are themselves before we get the name. We do know that his main sword's name is Dark Thunder, but we'll get to that. Now we have his bio, Huang Sung Gyeong. Remember, no hyphens. They put a hyphen here. There's not supposed to be a hyphen in Korean names, uh, but let's just get over that for now. Um, we have his weapon used is the Podao. His weapon name is um, Black Thunder. His school name is Yellow Swordsmanship plus Tenken Ryoko. His relationships are parents are bereavement teacher Song Ha Myung, childhood friend and daughter of teacher Song Mina, and a teacher of Fulu Wan Su Hyun. The weapon Podao, a black sword that has been bathed in the spirit of the sun, moon, and stars for 3,000 days at the top of the Maten Ryu, where the spirits of the heavens and the earth come and go. It was given to the fans by Wong so Su Hyun, a Taoist who mastered the Tenko Ruke family as a psychic power to help stabilize and enhance the fans' uh, psychic arts. In addition, it is connected to Su Hyun's Senkai spirit, so even if you are far away from the Matamine on your journey, the fans will be able to use the Heiji Gentio and the Raku. You can master two instruments of the Ankensa. Senkai weapons are tools associated with Shinsen, which are handed down in stories and folklore. Most of them were created by the writing brushes of the literary family, but in the hands of the Taoists and Hermits, who are separated from the world, there is a real thing that the power has slightly beyond human knowledge. The sword is a variable flame blade that turns the vitality of a person it touches and entanglement chains so that the power to bind and restrain the shadow of the person who touches it. All of them are the mysterious and powerful Tenken Ryoko family. But it can be said that their effectiveness has been dramatically improved by the swordman Huang Sung Gyeong, who makes full use of the yellow sword technique. Not only these swords are temporarily manifested by the power of the Black Thunder Heaven, but also the Black Thunder Heaven itself is a gem as pure as the weapon is being a ritual vessel and many enemies 
will be distinguished by the sword's technique of the fans. Let's go. Story. It is difficult to survive this turbulent world, especially if it grows straight without refraction. He, Huang Sung Hyung, was one of the strongest and well-grown people who lost their parents. There is no doubt that the introduction of the Nadia style dojo and the mastery of the swordsmanship helped. It was not only the sword technique, but also the personality that was found in the swordsman Song Hang Myung, who was called the god of war. The teacher even thought it was okay to adopt a fan. It was around that time that news came to Japan that a neighboring country across the sea was being unified. Shortly thereafter, young people who volunteered for Lee Sung Shin, a general in the navy, gathered to secure coast, but some of them were fans. At the time, rumors of the Sword of Salvation, Soul Edge, that flawed from far to the west. The country was hopeful, and the king gave promising young man a task to explore Soul Edge to confirm the truth of the rumors. A few years later, when he returned home with his daughter, Song Mina, who had just left the country to explore Soul Edge, Soul Edge was not a Sword of Salvation, but rather uh, an evil, exiled country where there was a swirling suspicion that it was a sword may have been a sign from the learned about organization called the Rescue Society. It is said that the Rescue Society caused that the Soul Edge fragments may have been obtained from somewhere, a secret stone that was dedicated to the Shrine Maiden who exercises its power. He couldn't afford to leave Disturbing Sprout in the country, and he snuck into the meeting of the Rescue Society and disappeared. Despite Mina, his teacher Ham Young and Yi Sun Yin continuing their um, searched the whereabouts of the fans were unknown and disappeared hero and to the rescue society dedicated to soul edge it was clear that dark clouds were spreading throughout the country of korea uh just keep in mind guys this is translated from japanese so some of it might be off i'm trying to correct it as i go but um i might not be able to keep up 100 percent about half a year later the ruins of the inner part of the skyscraper filled with the power of the stars a man departed from the wu so hyun a skilled taoist who once made a name for himself as a secret royal inspector a black sword with the power of brutality in his hands and a fulu for manipulating the art. Be prepared to be said, sad in your chest, covering the name and past with the battle clothes. The shadow ruins through the dark night and cuts through the darkness of the times. Yellow Swordsmanship and Tenken Ryoke. He learned the Naria style sword technique under Sun Hung Myung, a rare swordsman known as the god of war, and continued to approve upon his sword skills. After many battles, the techniques had become unique, and the recommendation of his teacher, he calls himself the yellow guandao technique. The flying sword method and leg kick technique that maximized jumping power of oneself, called just like that a phoenix flying in the sky. In deeper contract with the dark, he gains another power of mystery of the Tanjin Ryoko family. Taught to Wansu Hyun, who is also a secret royal inspector, Fans of low qualities have become hermits, and that they are not have inner sanctums, so that their qualities for martial arts are low. It is Suhyun's comment that this is a rare talent. The Tenken Ryoko family consists of six secrets that take in the breath of the Arctic Ziwe Emperor, who controls all demons. That is Fulu, that deals with the Fulus. Curly, that manipulates powerful words. Saisho, that is a prayer technique. Kyotakata, which is a therapeutic science and form that is a feng shui and technique. I guess it's feng shui. <laughs> and the six families of the Shin Shin Kaku who take down the power of the demon god. Fans who have only learned fulu and god borrowing, but in combination with the swordsmanship that they have been studying for so, they can be said to be unique should they call it swordsman it is. Um, I'm also going to show on screen the prologue that it has for it in English. Um, it's similar to what we just went over, so I'm just going to leave that on screen. But I hope this actually lends more um, understanding to people who are trying to understand the character of Huang Sung Young um, in this timeline. Like I said, I will be doing a new timeline lore video at some point when that information is made available. But this is what we got for now, and this just, just came up, so I wanted to share this with you guys. Also, the patch notes, full patch notes, will be coming soon, as soon as they're translated in English, so look forward to that. With that being said, we're going to bring this video to a close. Thank you for listening. I want to hear in the comment section down below if you enjoy the story thus far. As much of it you can follow being so roughly translated from Japanese. And um, join my Discord if you guys want to chat about stuff. And as always, I love it. Thank you. And thank you.